Hello everyone, I am happy to come your way again today. I bring greetings to you with the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. How is our Christian race? I hope you are getting along well. And looking on to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. I want to encourage as many that have accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior to continue to run this race with perseverance. There are so many things that can discourage us, but do not be discouraged. My name is Ozana David and I have a message I want to deliver to us this morning. A few days ago, I had a vision. The vision took a few seconds, not even up to 30 seconds. I was standing outside in front of a building and then just of a sudden I saw people running. People were running. In fact, there was a vehicle waiting, we wanted to go to somewhere. But we were trying to load the vehicle. We were trying to put some things into the vehicle. In fact, the driver was telling me that uh, he can take only me down. That there are others that he's supposed to, that the vehicle will be too empty. I should get some more people and let's go. And also get some loads and put into the vehicle. So, uh, as... Excuse me, as we were there, I discovered that it was raining heavily. There was storm, the lightning, people were running everywhere. But something that surprised me is that if it is raining, whenever it rains, people are supposed to run into their shelter, into their houses and get a cover from the rain but this time around people were rushing into the rain the confusion was so much that people were running helter skelter and people were running in, in, into the rain and it was like the rapture had taken place the confusion was much people never cared about the rain and then the vision went off. The rapture will soon take place. The understanding that the Holy Spirit gives me is that the vehicle is the church. About taking off. Jesus is about coming. The vehicle we are waiting to allow more people to enter is the church. We need more people. We need to get more people. The Bible says that the patience of the Lord is for our own good. He gives us more time so that we can repent. How will it look when there are just a few persons taken up in the rapture? We need more people to get themselves ready. God is causing a revival in the world today. And on the ego eye opener, you see hundreds of dreams and revelations, visions that the Lord has given to people about the rapture that is coming very, very soon. In fact, somebody uh, messaged me on Facebook yesterday and the lady asked me specifically if there had been increase in the submission of rapture dreams and revelations. So I told her, yes, there is an increase. And I asked her, why did you uh, ask this question? Do you have any purpose in mind? She said, yes, that she feels that the time is very, very near. That is the truth. The time is near. And it is going to be very, very terrifying for those who don't know the Lord. Let me tell you something. Jesus did not tell us that when the rapture would take place, the whole of the people who call themselves Christians are going to rapture with him. Even the second coming, when he will return, he did not tell us, the Bible did not say that many people are going to make it. Revelation chapter 1 verse 7 has something to say about this. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye will see him. And they also which pierce him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so. Amen. 
Listen, those who continue to pierce Jesus, remember those who killed Jesus, we are not pagans, they were the Jews, they were the leaders of the church, they were people in high places, they were the priests, the chief priests. They killed Jesus, the high priest. They connived together and killed our Lord and Savior. Today, there are those who continue to pierce Him, even in the church, who continue to pierce Him, who continue to murder our Lord. The very things that took Jesus to the cross, there are people who continue to do them. And they don't care that these same evil things brought Jesus down so that he could die. Our evil brought Jesus. If we had been righteous, he wouldn't have come and died. But the very things that pierced him on the cross, we continue to do them. And a lot of us do them and pierce him every day and take our sword, take our, our, our spears and continue to pierce him on the cross every day. All kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Why are they going to wail? Because they were never ready. A lot of Christians are not ready. The vehicle was waiting, but many people are not ready to go. It shall be chaotic. It shall be so terrifying on that day when the rapture takes place. It's the next phase. This is the end time already. Have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Please wake up. Are you lukewarm? You are neither hot nor cold. Wake up because the Lord is going to spit you out of his mouth. Wake up. This is the end. A lot of people emailed me. They say, I have given my life to Jesus Christ, but I don't know how to go about it. I'm so weak. I'm tired. I, I can't run. I, I know I'm not living a righteous life. I want to encourage some of you and every one of you at fasting to your life. When you are weak, declare a fast. Declare several days fast. Declare 40 days fast. And fast. I have fasted personally, not because I wanted, there was a time I fasted. Not because, I think it was 2013. Yes, 2013. About 2000, either 2013 or 14. I fasted for 40 days. It was in a lengthy period. But because there was so much, there was so much temptation and temptations, weakness in my spirit, I had to declare fast for 40 good days. Not that I never ate, it wasn't a dry fasting, I was breaking my fast in a way, but I fasted. Declare fast for yourself. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Heaven is not sheep. You have to fight against sin. It was sin, our sins that brought Jesus down to the earth. If the sin is still found with you, declare fast. Fast, study the word of God. Run away from worldly entertainment. Because whatsoever you feed your heart with, that is what you are going to produce in your character and in, in the whole of your being. That is what you are going to produce. Please, I encourage you to run with zeal. The Lord is near. In case you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Hosanna David and also Ego Eye Opener. At Ego Eye Opener YouTube channel, we post the average of two videos daily, every day. We update it with rapture dreams. People send us their rapture dreams and revelations which we post there. Fill your minds with the things of God. Listen to the experience of others. The Lord is speaking to people across the world. In case you have a video, you can send it to us. Email it to egoeyeopener at gmail.com and also info at egoeyeopener.com. Make sure you get updated with the things of God and follow the trend of the Spirit. And also, I want to encourage you to sign up on our website egoeyeopener.com there is a forum there you can also share your end time dreams if you need interpretation there are people who will help you get interpretation even with the help of the holy spirit thank you and god bless you bye bye